Alright. <laughs> Hello. Uh, welcome to my channel, La Viajera Diaries. I'm Am, and today I decided that I wanted to pick five things that I love using on like to go. So, uh, for zero waste, I have changed a lot of my habits with what I bring with me. So I used to be like super basic, like I would literally bring my wallet and my phone and that's all. But now, since I've been trying to be more zero waste, I have kind of added a couple things to my list that make it super easy for me to kind of do whatever I do in the day and I don't have to worry about it and not worry about producing more waste. So I have chosen five things, like five and a half, um, to kind of show you some tips on changes that you can make almost, I mean, almost immediately um, to kind of improve or reduce your waste reduction while you're out and about living your life. <laughs> okay, this is my number one. This is super easy, like basically anybody can do this and I don't know why more people don't. So my number one is a water bottle, okay? Uh, you will notice later on that I do have a clean canteen problem, but um, this one, I just, it's purple and I love it. But yeah, so this is basically uh, my first one. It's super easy. You're able to reduce the amount of plastic bottles that you have. You drink more water. I just drink more water in general having this. And you can also fill it with other things if you want to on the go. You don't need to rebuy um, a bottle every day. It saves you money and it saves the environment. Number two is a tote bag. You would not expect this to look like anything, but this is actually a bag that I got at Ikea a while ago, and it was like two euro or something, and it turns into this huge bag that I fill with my groceries and things like that, and this is in my bag every day, and I just roll it up super small, which is awesome. So there's like a million different options. Like this was my first one that I had, and I use this when I go grocery shopping. I got this from like a random spa in Andorra when I was traveling there last year, and I just had it laying around. So there's that one, there's like this kind, right? You can put your fruits and vegetables in it, and it holds like a really large amount. So yeah, I just have, I stole one from, I didn't even steal it, she let me have it. <laughs> a tote from my roommate. So just kinda, it's all over the place. You have more tote bags than you think you have, or at least like a small bag you can like wad up and bring it with you to the grocery store. So instead of them offering you a plastic bag, you just say no thank you and you get your own. My next one is silverware. So this may sound really weird, but how many times have you gone to like a restaurant, a to-go restaurant, or somewhere where you just went to sit, but they gave you disposable plastic silverware. Like, you're gonna use it one time and you throw it away. So for me, that just, I don't feel good about that. I would rather bring, be prepared and bring my own, and I'm able to keep that plastic out of landfills, and then I'm able to kind of have this really adorable to-go silverware. So this is, what I have, you can also, you do not need to go out and buy this. <laughs> this is the little set that I get, it's from To Go Wear. I'll put a link in the description down below. I just got it on Amazon. Comes in a bunch of colors, but it's awesome. And like, I've got like a little chopsticks, fork. Ooh, that's a fork. <laughs> fork, spoon, and there's a knife in there too. And it's just super awesome, cause like I use it every day, I bring uh, oatmeal to work because I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know. I have I use the spoon and then I like mix my coffee with it and stuff. It's awesome. So this is definitely an option. But if you don't want to do that, bring a spoon from work, like from home. Bring it with you. Bring it out and about. You have a spoon or a fork. You can also buy. There's like these little baby ones. I do have one somewhere buried. <laughs> or like to go sporks. You can find them all over. Just bring your own fork and spoon like that's super easy just wrap it in a little napkin a little cloth napkin and you're good to go number four is okay this one is like for the people that like 
caffeine or tea. I'd say caffeine because genuinely I'm just talking about I love coffee. <laughs> So basically, I like getting coffee and here it's not very common in Spain It's not very common to get like to go coffee um, But I like to just have a coffee mug on hand just in case um, Specifically because of my job they have a coffee machine and but the, the it dispenses a single-use plastic cup out of the machine to get your coffee and so for me I was like well, I like getting the coffee because it's easy but I don't want to use that single-use plastic cup every time. And so I actually happen to have a keep cup. And um, this is, I got this like two years ago. But I'll put a link down below as well. It's um, super good. I really like this because it's super light. And it's easy to travel with. So when I travel, I just chuck this in my backpack. And I'm ready to go. I can get coffee or tea or... I've used it for like to go if I go to a restaurant and I have some food that I have left over and I don't have a, anything else to put it in I just pop it in this baby and I'm good to go. So yeah, I really like this I also have this one that I like this is also opening the clean canteen issue <laughs> So this is my baby clean canteen and I really like this one because it's got like the this in the top so it like twists and because this one is a little tricky if you fill it and then you put it in your bag. I tend to find it leaks a little bit. So this is like a, you're going to have it and supervise it. But this one is less like that because I can just fill it with something and then I pop it in my bag straight up and I'm good to go. So these are two good options. You can find them anywhere. And number five is like a Tupperware or a jar. So this one I don't always bring with me. Um, I'll bring it if I know that I'll be going out to dinner or I am gonna be, uh, I wanna bring a snack with me or something like that instead of using Ziploc bags, which there are some Ziploc, there are some bags, like they aren't Ziploc, but they, they work like that, that are reusable plastic ones. And I, I should, I can find a, um, one online and I'll put a link down below and you can check that out. Cause I think it'd be cool if you use a lot of Ziploc bags, but since I use just a little Tupperware, it's the same thing for me. But um, yeah, so this is mine, the little one that I have, and I have them in various sizes, but this is just a little one and like I keep my almonds in it. So I have a snack. So that works for two things, right? So I can eat the almonds and then I can put something else in it, right? Or I'm just not hungry, so I don't go to the store and buy like a bag of packaged chips, which creates trash and this is not the healthiest thing on the planet. So yeah, uh, this is definitely good. Or I reuse jars for everything. I mean, I'll talk about in like the kitchen edition. I want to make another one about kitchen stuff only. But like I bring this with me. This is what I put my oatmeal in. So I have this on me a lot of the time and I'll eat it in the morning. And then I just have this. So if I want to go and buy more oats or if I want to um, buy some pasta or something like that in bulk, I can do that. So yeah, those are my five. I'll put them right here. There's my little, my list of five that I think are definitely worth looking into to help reduce your zero waste, uh, to reduce your zero waste, to reduce your waste while you're going out and about. And you don't have to use all of these, right? Choose a couple of different things that work for you. So just try to think about, okay, is this a single-use item that I'm going to throw away? And is there a better substitute for that? So that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that a couple of these ideas uh, will kind of help you further go a little bit further on your zero-waste journey or just even getting started in just like little changes that you can do. So I would love to know if you guys already do these things or if you have any tips if you already do some zero waste stuff. And yeah, I'll pop some links for some of those products if you're interested and if not, uh, have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. All right, bye.